Welcome to Rad. I previously played this game in the beta version, and I am very excited to say that it has now released on Steam. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This video is not sponsored in any way. I'm not being paid for this. I just really like the aesthetic of this game. This is published by Bandai Namco, and it is developed by Double Fine. And this is a roguelike post-apocalyptic Hilarious adventure, and we are going to be creating a new run. And you can play with all kinds of different characters that change your style of play. So you can see here we have Valley Girl, we have Jim Carter, Thrasher, Skitch, and then we have some locked characters which you will, of course, unlock as time goes on. And otherwise, I think I'm going to play as Glitch. Looks like a pretty cool character to me, and uh, we have no quirk here at the moment. All right, so here we are. This is uh, this is rad. It is a pretty fantastic, colorful, very quirky, <laughs> very quirky land indeed. And well, roguelike is the name of the game. And that is what we are going to do. Child, take heed, for I have a few words of wisdom for you. The wasteland we call the Fallow is full of muties. Be, prefer be prepared to defend yourself. Once in the Fallow, seek the respirator machines, for their laser light will show the way forward. As you absorb more rads, you will continue to mutate. But do not fret, for it is the key to our survival. New life will sprout in your wake. This is one way in which the world shall be reawakened. To reach the Fallow, simply walk through the triangular frames of the transference gates. In other words, in the teleporter. Oh yes. Alright, so now, here's the thing. You can jump, you can hit things, and you can mutate. Now, mutating can result in a wide variety of different things. So you can see here, I can just attack. I am left-clicking right now. And there's also jumping. There's also ground slamming as well. So let's just go over here and kill this thing if I can. There we go. Did I kill this? Yeah, I think I did kill it. Very nice indeed. And let's try and avoid getting murdered by this as well. Okay, so we are also going to be picking up tapes. And these tapes, I believe, can be used as currency of some kind for various purposes. And uh, I suppose we will find out exactly what's going on with them a little bit later on. Oh, hello. I am getting murdered like no one's business. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot of a lot of cash right there. Okay, so let's see if I can maybe survive. I'd appreciate it. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, there's a bar at the top of the screen and that basically indicates how much mutation you are picking up and how much you're getting. So eventually you're going to be maxing that out and then you will level up or gain a new mutation of some kind. Hopefully I'm not gonna die here. I'd appreciate it. There we go. All right, so we have gained the prickly thing. Okay, so activate spikes from your board to cause massive damage. And there it is. That's what it does. So unfortunately I am pretty damaged. This is a roguelike, so Obviously, you're going to be taking quite a lot of damage, and we are going to have some difficulties in just a second if I end up dying here, which would not be too nice, but we'll try it. Yeah, yeah there we go. Nice damage, nice damage, okay. Really wish I would know how to gain HP back easier than just finding some, uh, finding some help somewhere. I was hopeful that maybe leveling up would give me some HP back, but no. Okay, let's just kill that. Okay, we've got to be a bit careful here. Let's try and do some spiky. Ooh, the spikes killed those instantly. Very nice indeed. Okay, maybe I can use that again. There we go. Kill that. And, oh. Ooh, I thought I was going to die there for a second. Okay, so we are extremely close to dying. But that's what happened with my previous run as well. I was so incredibly close to death. And I eventually made it really far. So... You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, there we go. Cash. Cash. Alright, so now we can activate this. Which is kind of like a key of sorts, as far as I'm aware. And that what, what that will do is it will revitalize the land a little bit in its area. And it will also beam a laser all the way over to the middle section of the level and what that does is it will open up a dungeon of some kind and that dungeon 
will then be able to be entered and you can use it to fight a boss or you know whatever else may be down there maybe you'll be able to get some more mutations as well there's also an entrance here so technically i can go down here straight away if i want to and we'll see try and piece the world back together we'll see what's actually in here oh hello there all right so this is brother chip he is a merchant Mm, crit juice, 100% crit for a short time. Unlock disk drive protected goodies. Yes, floppy disks are basically like keys for chests and things like that. So you can gain additional items that way. But unfortunately, he does not seem to have anything for me at the moment. So I will just be moving on and doing some damage to this guy. Ooh, and I died. Oh, that, there's health. Did you see it? Yeah, there you go. We took out 27 mutants in 5 minutes, and we killed 53 before, though, which is unfortunate. But now we can just start a new run straight away, and we can go in and see what's going on. Every night has its dawn. Yes, every night has its dawn. So we did lose all of our stuff right there, but that is not anything to worry about, because we're going to be able to go back in here, and we will be facing a different area. And I'm hopeful that I will be able to maybe get a slightly better mutation. Because the mutation that I got was, let's just say, not exactly great, right? Not exactly great. But it's really cool that you're able to explore around the area. And, oh, look at that. I already got a floppy disk. So if I do find a chest of some kind, let's be a little bit careful here this time. Make sure I don't take too much damage immediately. And look, there's health already. I was just unlucky not to get health before, so kind of nice that we have health so fast this time there we go it, it give me it gives me back half a heart which is not exactly great but it's better than nothing thank you and let's continue onward oh wait the dungeon is right here do i want to go in there just yet or do i want to keep fighting i think i want to keep fighting for the moment maybe i'll get some uh, much needed experience here and then i can hopefully level up and get a good mutation this time because the last time that I played this in the earlier version I gained a, an amazing mutation that basically allowed me to spawn little pets that would help me oh recruit mutants with mind bullets oh oh whoa 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 wait, wait a minute how am I gonna okay how am I how am I gonna use this this is hard Okay, this is this is this is much harder than anticipated. Oh, there we go. We did it. Okay, so look at this. It's helping me now. It helps me. Oh, this is great. This is really cool. Okay. I like it. That is a much better mutation than the one I got last time. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to last that long by the looks of things. Yeah, it doesn't seem to last that long. I don't even know how long it lasts. Maybe it lasts as long as it takes for me to take damage. Perhaps? No, no, it only lasts about 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds or something like that. So that is not that much, unfortunately. But, well, can't really do much about it. I think, in general, that is a pretty cool ability because I can basically just use it on this. Can I hit this? Oh, I see. So I could technically use it as like a CC effect. So a bit of a stun. That's pretty nice. I like that. Okay. I was hopeful that maybe it would it would last a little bit longer, but, well, what can you do? As I say, the uh, abilities are generally going to not last that long, and I just almost killed myself in the acid, which is not good. Thank you. Oh, hello. Ah, adds hot foot endo mutation, which makes you immune to damage from ground fires. Adds the increased range mutation, which adds range to your projectile shots and restores more health. Your daily allowance of sugar in one gulp. I unfortunately do not have enough for any of that, which is unfortunate. We chose not to open them. Okay, so let's move on over here. And I really... Oh, oh dear. I have a bad feeling about this. Or maybe not. Yes. I lived. Fantastic. Okay, so yeah, floppy key. I really, really want to find a chest to open, but it's going to maybe be a while before I'm actually able to do something with that. So, oh, 
Never mind. I found one. Opened. Yes. Give me this. Okay, I am going to be drinking that immediately. Yeah, there you go. So we did gain some ex experience. We did gain some HP from that, which is nice. And now I should be able to head onward around here. And no doubt we're going to come across... Yeah, there we go. This is what we wanted to go to. And I guess I will use some mind control here. Because look, they, uh, the, the enemies will actually kill their friends. Which is really nice because that is exactly what this is for, I assume. That is definitely very, very useful indeed. Alright, so let's, uh, let's use this. That's going to activate the middle section. Which, in my opinion, from what I can remember, is going to open up the boss basically it's gonna open up the boss and I don't know whether I really want to go in there just yet can I find the other dungeon yes there it is the other dungeon is over here I think so let's just go over here and I, I'm gonna go in there first I think because I think I can I can I think I can do a lot better this time thanks to my mind control ability it is just so incredibly powerful if you use that on something nearby and then you know the other thing kills it you know so it's gonna hopefully help us all right so let's just continue onward because if there are two enemies then i'll just mind control one of them and then the other one is going to focus on killing the one that i've just mind controlled if you get what i mean so that's going to work quite nicely doesn't seem like there's anything here what i also find really cool about this game is that it does record where you have been which is really nice okay so there you go mind controlled and then that guy killed his friend which is obviously not exactly great for him but yes and there we go and we took no damage from that as well okay i'm hopeful that we might be able to come across something like maybe a chest or something oh hello what's this ah i believe i'm i might get another mutation from this Acquired. Insulator, your board ceases to conduct electricity. Enjoy a shock-free life. Okay, so in other words, if there are enemies that use shock attacks or there's an environmental hazard of some kind, then I don't need to worry about those anymore. Which is very nice. And that is, of course, a passive ability. The cathode readers were airheads. They stared at empty screens a lot, waiting for the transmission. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Vombats are building nets around my tubes. Think you can knock them down before they wake up? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I, I think I might be able to do that. But I'm not entirely sure how to get over there, to be honest. Maybe I need to go through... Maybe I need to go somewhere over here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Still see a Vombat, a vombat nest. Knock it down before they wake up. Ah, this? Whoa, hit the off switch, bud. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to uh, destroy all your stuff. But I think I... Didn't I kill it? Ah, oh, no, there we go. Ah, I think that was indeed the quest. Dude, feels a lot safer with those vombat nests gone. Do you want to give me something? <laughs> yeah, there we go. She gave me a key. Fantastic. All right, that is really good. Okay, well, uh, now here's the cool thing. Quality of life feature. You can press E and then you teleport to the other entrance of the dungeon so you don't need to run through the entirety of the dungeon once again. Really quite amazing, right? Yeah, I think that's a really nice little feature there. Definitely helpful. Alright, so let's go into the boss then. You technically could run around a little bit more and fight some more enemies to potentially level up and things, but I'm impatient so I like to go in here and see if we can maybe achieve victory. Okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to mind control these guys. Oh, I oh, I can do damage? Oh, this does ah, this does damage. Okay. My bad. My bad. But I did unlock this, which is a Mender Scepter, which is available in the town armory, and it is uh reduced cliff teleport damage to one. Well, that's pretty good. And we can play a new run once again. But this time around. 
I am much more aware of, of what things are going to be able to do. So, for example, the mind control thing, that does damage to bosses rather than being able to mind control them. I mean, obviously, it's kind of it's kind of to be expected, isn't it? But I'm very interested. This is exactly the reason why it's just one of those games where you're like, one more run, one more run. You know, it's it's that it's that kind of thing where you just keep keep on going because you want to find out what your next mutation is going to be. And if you get a good one, you're going to have a very easy time. Oh, oh dear. Well, this, this might be problematic. Wow, that hit me for a whole entire heart. Yeah, I should definitely try to dodge that. Well, so far so good. We are halfway, just over halfway to the next level. And all we got to do is continue finding enemies to fight. But the first initial boss is actually not even that difficult. I think I just made it look a little bit more difficult than it had to be. Or maybe I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that was so close. Okay, I was really worried there for a second. I really thought I was going to die. But hopefully I won't. So I would like to... Yeah, uh, okay, only a few more enemies. A few more enemies, and then I will finally know what my first mutation is going to be. Oh, it's the spiky thing again. Right, okay, well, the spiky thing is not too bad. I was hopeful that I might be able to get that pet thing again, which basically gives you all kinds of crazy stuff, so it would have been nice. But no such luck for me. But the spiky thing's okay. It's a little bit of a nice... Oh, that guy got me. He got me. All right. Well, I think that is a good, a good episode to sort of give you an idea about what Rad is all about. I am terrible at it, as you can no doubt tell. But for those of you that are good at roguelike adventures, this is definitely a game you should check out. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.